Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you two techniques for creating a really cool marquee slash scrolling text effect in Wix. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to note here is I'm actually creating an image inside of Adobe Illustrator. Now you can do this in Illustrator, Photoshop, Figma, Canva, whatever you really want. But what I did here was created an artboard that was 4,000 in width and like 100 in height. Then I just added text that I want and then repeated it over and over until it basically filled the entire artboard. Now what I want to do is export this into a photo and upload to Wix. And once that's uploaded, we are good to go. So what I want to do first is actually grab a section and this is by far going to be the easiest method. So what we're going to do is go ahead and change the section background to an image. We want to choose our image that we have just created just like this. And it's not going to look that good because our section is very tall. So because we made the image 100 pixels in height, we need to make the section also 100 pixels in height, just like this. Then what we can do is choose a scroll effect and we can choose pan right or pan left. So what I'm gonna do is pan right. And now if I come up to the very top and we scroll down, we're gonna have this really cool effect. And the cool thing about this effect is it is triggered by the scrolling. So it's not gonna be a continuous scroll because it's a scroll effect to the background image. So when the user scrolls, so does this effect. But now let's go ahead and move on to the next method. For this next method, what we're gonna do is actually add a gallery to our section. I'm gonna choose this one called Showcase, just like this. For this one, what we're gonna to want to do is go ahead and stretch it to be the full width. We're also gonna make it 100 pixels in height, just like this. Then let's go ahead and press Manage Media. We're gonna go ahead and delete all of this filler ones. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and select our image, just like this, and we'll go ahead and press Done. Perfect. Now let's go into the settings for this gallery. What we're gonna do is first is come into layout and we want to make sure that we have loop images. Since we only have this one image, we want this to continuously loop. We also want to slide automatically. And instead of it sliding in intervals, we want it to just be continuous. And we, of course we can set the speed here. Now, if you want to have this image link to something, what you can do is say pause on hover, because if you want this image to link to something, so if we go to manage media, select this image, we can actually have this image link. Maybe instead of free shipping worldwide, it says subscribe to our newsletter or get in touch or whatever, and you want to link it to maybe a form or a contact or an email or something like that, you can do that. So in that case, I would probably recommend pausing the scroll on hover. Otherwise, I feel like you can just leave it off. And then because I actually already added spacing here in Illustrator, you can see at the end, I added a little extra spacing than I did over here at the beginning. Um, that way when it loops, it kind of has similar spacing in between each of the items. So because I've already kind of created the spacing manually, I'm going to remove this spacing over here. So now if I go ahead and press preview, here is going to be this effect. Now I do want to get rid of this overlay, these hearts and these navigation arrows. So actually let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we'll go into settings, we'll go to design, navigation arrows, we'll turn them off. We don't want any overlays on hover, so we'll go ahead and remove that. No effect. And then if we come over to settings, we can turn off the heart icon. 
So now we have this marquee tool that basically just continues to go over and over. And if we have it linked, we can turn on pause on hover. So we have this effect right here down below. And then down here, we have the one that's only activated on scroll to give it that really cool dynamic feel. Whereas this one's gonna just be a constant scroll until a user hovers over it if you have a link on it. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.